All right, let's find the surface area of our rectangular prism first. So what I did to help you out was to kind of write down um, the box below. So I, I kind of gave that to you. Um, surface area for a box, remember, is base perimeter times height plus two times area of our base. So let's find our base perimeter. Um, go ahead and add that up. You got 24. Height is about four inches. And go ahead and find the area of our base. Hopefully you got that. Let's go ahead and calculate that out. And unpause. Hopefully you got the following. When you added, you also got that as your area of your rectangular prism. Let's go ahead and find the uh, surface area of the pyramid itself. Um, first thing we got to do, unfortunately, we got to find the slant height. We don't know what it is. Um, so here that would be half of six, which is three. Um, now the whole thing from top to bottom is 12. Um, I know this is four. So what's the difference between 12 and four? About eight. So now I have my leg, leg, and my hypotenuse, which I like to use the cursive L. So let's find that out. Let's plug some numbers in. Let's work this out. What would 8 times 8 and 3 times 3 be? 64 and 9. Let's add those up. That would be 73. Let's square root both sides. That would be our slant length is 8.54. All right, now that we know our slant length, let's go ahead and find our base perimeter. Take a moment and work that out. And let's go ahead and find our base area. Take a moment, work that out. On pause, hopefully you got the following. Go ahead and take a moment and work this out. On pause, hopefully you got the following. When you added, you got this as well. Now you will notice that we're going to find the surface area of our composite figure. You'll notice that we're adding up our surface areas we just found. So take a moment and do that now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the surface area where these shapes touch. They kind of touch at this four-sided shape, so we are going to find the surface area for that. Hopefully you got that. So we have our surface area, take away twice our overlap shape. Essentially, there's we kind of counted that um, box right here that you can see twice. So let's work that out. Pause and do that now. And unpause. Hopefully you found the following. And we're here for checkpoint. Um, what's nice about this one is they do tell us what the radius is. They do tell us what the slant height is. Um, so we can work that out. Um, for our other cone, we, can, we know what the radius is. We know what our slant height is. Take a moment and work that out. Unpause. And then we're just adding those together. So it's very similar to the one that we saw before in the homework packet. All right, there is homework from the textbook, so make sure you're working this out. If you need help with the homework, um, there's, there's the assignment, and please come into the center if you need help with any of the problems you see flashing before your very eyes. We have tutors and teachers who are more than willing and able to help you with any and all problems. So please come into the center if you do need help. All right, we'll see you on the next video.